Hi, my name is Anthony Mandohano. I'm Peter Diretti. My name is Inabir Sidhu. I'm Oscar Aguilar. And we are the League of Ordinary Engineers. So for our project, we decided to develop a earphone storage device that uh, prevents tangling of wires, which is a common annoyance in uh, everyday life for um, earphone listeners. <laughs> Throughout the design process, we focused on a customer base that regularly listens to uh, music on the go. For our benchmark, we chose the Retrack retractable sports earphone. Mechanically, the device functions well. However, we did not like the overall concept of the wire spool. We did not like how you had to spool the wire with both hands, and then you had to extend out the wire all the way to retract it. Having the spool hang from your ears also makes it a bit uncomfortable. In addition, the quality of the headphones isn't the most desirable, being limited to the ones provided in the box. Our prototype incorporates the idea of retracting headphones to prevent them from being tangled. Improving upon the shortcomings of the benchmark, we focused our project on developing a prototype that was universal to all headphones, could be attached to the back of a foam case, and can be spooled out using one hand. The biggest design challenge was designing a spool that would spool out one end while the other end remained fixed, which meant you only needed one hand to operate the spool. To get the inspiration for the prototype, we looked at different products that incorporated spools. One device that stood out to us was the slip ring, which is an electromechanical mechanism that transfers an electrical signal from a rotating structure to a stationary structure. We use this device to maintain an electrical signal to the headphone from the spool, even if the spool is rotating. This way, the device does not need to be disconnected when rotating the spool. Here we have the prototype completely disassembled from bottom plate to top cover. Here we have the bottom plate, which has a female jack inserted in the center. It serves as our makeshift slip ring, which ha will have a cable running through the bottom to the audio source. Next up is the bottom half of the spool. It consists of the torsional spring and the second female jack of this device. It connects to the bottom plate to allow for rotation of the spool. Here we go. And this is how it rotates. The second female jack serves as a port for the audio cables to be plugged into the device. It is connected to the first female jack through a bent jack that is fixed to the top half of the spool. Together, these two parts make up the makeshift slip ring. With the cable wrapped around the spool, it is now time to place the top cover on the device. With our final design, we were able to meet most of our needs. First of all, using our makeshift slip ring, we were able to keep one end of the cables fixed. Due to this feature, it is simple enough to use that only one hand is needed to retract the wire. With this design, it is also very easy to replace the earphones. It can also be mounted on the back of the cell phone to allow it to listen to music very easily on the go. Unfortunately, due to time and material constraints, we were not able to make our design smarter than our benchmark. Moving forward with our design, we aim to make our design much more compact by incorporating a custom-made slip ring. Right now, our slip ring in our device is pretty much just a regular 3.5mm jack which means our device must be around 20 millimeters thick. But if we make a slip ring ourselves, we could make the design much more thinner. And also, we could make the design much more user-friendly by making it easier to change out headphones. 